Now the third method of solving the quadratic equations is the discriminant method. The two other methods we have seen were the factorization method and the complete square method. Now the discriminant method is the most powerful method because this doesn't have any restrictions. This method can be used for any quadratic equation irrespective of splitting in factors or making it a complete square. So this, seemed, this is identified as the most powerful method in solving the quadratic equations. And let's see how it is done. It is done with the use of a formula which we are going to see in discriminant method. Say I take the general quadratic equation or the standard quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c. If my quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 with a not equal to 0 and a, b, c are all real numbers, then it has two roots. We all know that this quadratic equation with the degree 2 has at the most two roots and the two roots are given by the formula x equals minus b plus or minus root of delta by 2a where one of the root is with plus and one of the root is with minus. So when I take this split as plus and minus I get x equals minus b plus root delta by 2a and here one of them is minus root delta by 2a where delta is b square minus 4ac and is called the discriminant. This value of delta is called discriminant is how we identify the formulae of finding the solutions of any quadratic equation using the discriminant method. Now this has a very significant role to play in quadratic equations. This decides the nature of roots or the nature of solutions which you obtain and we will see this in brief in the future sessions. But discriminant has a very important role to play in quadratic equations. The two of the roots given by this formula and this formula finally identified to be this. So let's see an example problem where this can be applied. This formula can be applied where the two solutions are obtained. Now let's take an example problem to study the discriminant method of finding the roots. So for example, I take a quadratic equation 2x square minus 2 root 2 of x plus 1 equal to 0. Then I need to find the roots of this quadratic equation. Now if I compare this quadratic equation with the general form ax squared plus bx plus c, then I clearly identify that the value of a is 2 and the value of b is minus 2 root 2 and the value of c is 1 because ax squared plus bx plus c where a is this, b is this and c is this. Now to find the roots using the discriminant method, initially I need to find the discriminant delta. So as we know that the discriminant delta is given by the formula b square minus 4ac then I simply substitute the values of a, b, c in this equation and I get the value of delta. So first finding the value of delta is very important in discriminant method. So let's find delta in the initial case of solving the given quadratic equation. So this when substituted with a, b, c respectively my b is minus 2 root 2 whole square minus 4 times a times c which is 1 is how I substitute b squared min minus 4ac. Now this on multiplying twice because this is square I get 4 times because 2 square is 4 and root 2 whole square is 2 because root x into root x is always x. This is very important to identify root x into root x is always x minus 4 times of 2 which is 8. And then finally I get this to be 8 minus 8 which is 0. Therefore the value of discriminant or delta is 0. 
Now let's come to the formula. We have seen the formula for discriminant method which says that the roots of any quadratic equation in its general form is given by the formula x equals minus b plus or minus root delta by 2a is the formula which we have taken in the previous session. Now let's try to substitute each of a, b and delta in this given formula and then find the values of x which are the solutions of given quadratic equation. Now in this case b is minus 2 root 2 so minus of b plus or minus root of delta by 2 a is how I get when I substitute the two values this this gives me 2 root 2 plus or minus 0 by 4 which is 2 root 2 by 4 so this is root 2 over 2 and therefore I get the values of x which is root 2 over 2 can be written as root 2 over 2 can be written as root 2 whole square because root x whole square is x. So x can be written as root x whole square which is nothing but indirectly in this form so that I can cancel one of the root 2. The reason I write 2 as root 2 whole square is I want to cancel this which gives me x equals is the required solution. Why is the need to write this twice? Because if we get one root that indicates that the roots are repeated. In case of this, since it has two roots, one of the root is obtained which is repeated again. So this example quadratic equation is said to have the repeated roots in the discriminant method. Is how we understand using of discriminant formula in finding the quadratic equation where this is called the discriminant formula. This formula is called the discriminant formula for finding the quadratic equations using the delta which is the discriminant.